Welcome to the Electromagnetic Works video tutorial series. A collection of videos that show firsthand how accurately and how quickly you can get designs analyzed and optimized inside SolidWorks. This video will show you how to use the Electromechanical Simulation Package EMS to simulate a solar cell inside SolidWorks. In this tutorial, we will cover the Electric Conduction Simulation module. The CAD model of the solar cell must be built or imported into SOLIDWORKS. SOLIDWORKS offers excellent help and training materials such as tutorials. Therefore, we will not go over the CAD modeling steps here. Instead, our starting point will be a readily built CAD model, which will simply be loaded and analyzed. The solar cell assembly is composed of a front aluminum electrode and a rear electrode. These two electrodes sandwich the silicon cell. Unlike other modules in EMS, there will not be any modeling for air. At this stage, the model is ready for simulation. In the EMS Manager, you can launch a new study. In this example, we want to create an electric conduction analysis. You can typically associate this with thermal analysis, but in this example, that won't be necessary. The first step in analyzing the assembly is to assign the materials to all the bodies. As we mentioned before, the electrodes are composed of aluminum, which is found in the non-magnetic materials folder. Bodies of the same material will get the same properties. The cell is composed of silicon, which can be found in the semiconductor folder. You can also complement the existing EMS materials library by creating or editing materials. When all bodies have been assigned a material, a blue check mark will appear next to the solids icon. The next step is to apply loads and restraints. In an electric conduction study, you can choose between fixed voltages or contact resistances. Fixed voltages can either be applied on faces or on solid bodies. In this example, we will apply two fixed voltages. The first body we will select is the rear electrode, which will be set to ground. The other fixed voltage will be 0.6 volts for the front electrode. The last step before running the analysis is to mesh the model. Meshing an EMS is automated and fast. By setting the global element size and the tolerance for small spaces, you can simply create the mesh. Of course, some bodies have smaller spaces than others, so it is a good idea to apply mesh controls. Mesh controls can also be applied either on bodies or on faces. In this example, the two electrodes will have a mesh control of two one hundredths of a millimeter. Then, we can set the global mesh size. All bodies without a mesh control will follow this global size. Here, we can set a global mesh size of one-tenth of a millimeter, and the tolerance will be automatically generated. Once the mesh generation is complete, you can review the mesh, make changes to the preprocessing inputs, and then run the study. With one study complete, a full range of results will be distributed in folders containing numerical and plotted values in 3D and in 2D. The report folder contains the report generator and the results table. The report generator displays all the information that you can select for distribution. By checking or unchecking certain types of results, you can customize the report to contain only the information that pertains to your needs. The report document can be saved in either HTML or in Word format. In an electric conduction study, the results table displays the overall power loss of the assembly. The 3D results provided in the electrostatic module 
include the electric field and the electric potential, as well as the current density. The plots of these results can be viewed in full 3D or on segments between a set of points in 2D plots. A 2D plot can show magnitude variations or axis dependent changes. By selecting reference points added in SOLIDWORKS or vertices in the assembly, a linear segment or a group of segments can be tracked. Changing the number of points changes the accuracy and precision of the plot. The corresponding value is then displayed on the plot. You can also track the plot to find the magnitude at a specific displacement. A list view is also available. Three D plots show the distributions over the entire assembly. They can be viewed as a continuous plot or in vectors. The internal distributions of 3D plots can be viewed in a section view, which displays the internal plots according to positions and using isosurfaces, which display them according to magnitude. With one study analyzed, you may want to make some minor changes to the analysis inputs. You can start a new study where you apply new restrictions or different materials or even a different mesh. Or you can copy an existing study and make small changes to the pre-processing inputs. You can run those studies individually or you can run them all in series by selecting Run All Studies. There are many features that are available in EMS. You can visit our website to view more information on our products.